nice way to open up the show. Hi, everybody. I'm right down here to your left. Wave if you can see me. Hi, you guys. Well, my name is LJ, and I've always had a love for animals. When I was in the eighth grade, I got to join a keeper camp at the Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium in Tacoma, Washington. Whoa. No one's from Washington? Whoa. There you are. All right. During my weekend, I got to meet all kinds of amazing animals, including elephants, zebras, monkeys, nocturnal animals. But when it was my turn to feed and interact with the beluga whale, something inside me sparked and I knew I wanted to work with marine mammals for the rest of my life. I've been at SeaWorld now over 15 years and I could not be more proud because SeaWorld is a world leader in rescue and rehabilitation, rescuing and rehabilitating over 31,000 animals and that is something that I am very, very proud of. Now one of the most special things we do here at SeaWorld with our animals is build our relationship. And not only is it special, it's so important. It's the most important thing that we do with our animals. You can see behind me here, some of the trainers, this is exactly how we build that relationship. We spend time with them, we relate with them, we play with them. Oh, oh there it is. It's so important because it helps us build trust with the animals and that trust helps us better care for them through husbandry or healthcare procedures, which is the number one priority for our animals. So spending time with our dolphins and having fun, you can hear them squeaking and whistling, having a good time. Ah, no, that's Coco. Uh, so these guys all have very different personalities. They're so different. During a Christmas party, we can pick out a dolphin from a hat and act them out. That is how unique these dolphins are, how fun their personalities are. So it's our job to make sure that we find out exactly what they find reinforcing, maybe what they don't find reinforcing, and have an amazing relationship with these animals. Now, they're also great ambassadors because they allow guests, like my new friend James, to come on down and meet these animals up close and personal. And my hope is that he's inspired just like I was when I was in the eighth grade. You, you can stand up. Okay, turn around, come on up. All right, you ready to meet a dolphin, dudes? Where are you from? Where? Pittsburgh, PA. All right, let's give her a big wave. There we go, this is Venus. Venus is super cool. She was actually born the year I started, huh, Venus? Yeah, all right. Now, dolphins here at SeaWorld get a variety of fish, including herring, mackerel, capelin, sardines, and squid. They also love ice. So I'm gonna have you take that and toss it right in there. Excellent, good job. I'm gonna line her up. Why don't you reach out and tell me what she feels like? Smooth like rubber, that's an excellent description. Dolphins don't have any hair. Uh, when they're adults, they have very, very smooth skin, huh? Yes, all right. So why don't you put both hands out there just like this and reach out there. You're going to do a little dance with Venus. So hold on to her pectoral flippers. There it is. Great job. Go ahead and let go. Good girl, Venus. And now, James, I wouldn't let you go uh, without taking a special picture with her. So why don't you come on down this way. Here we go. Is your family over here? Yes. All right. So, James, you're going to stand right here. You can totally trust me. All right. You're going to stand right there and you're going to wave. And Venus is going to come right behind you, and she's going to give you a big wave as well. Sound good? All right, I'm just going to stand over here so I'm not in your photo. Smile, James. Oh, oh my, I had no idea that was going to happen. Oh, that was the first time. Well, James, you were such a good sport. I did have a token of our appreciation for helping us out today. It really is our hope that your generation shares in our passion for animals. Ladies and gentlemen, James, it's good friend, Venus. Back to you, Jacqueline. Thanks, LJ. Now you've already met some of the dolphins that live here at Dolphin Amphitheater, but we have another animal that calls this area home. It's time to meet our short fin pilot whales. Pilot whales are found throughout our global ocean and are close relatives to both dolphins and orcas. Right now, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about the whales that you'll be meeting today. Argo is our handsome man with a very special story. He was rescued after stranding off a beach in Japan and then lived at a facility there with dolphins for the next few years. Finally, in the interest of living with animals of his own species, he came here to join our pilot whale family. He's been with us ever since and he continues to thrive. Argo will also be joined today by Shadow. Shadow is 36 years old, and not only does she enjoy time with her trainers and her pilot whale friends, 
but she also likes swimming with some of the dolphins that live here at Dolphin Amphitheater. Also, due to her very patient and attentive nature, whenever trainers first start interacting with our whales, Shadow is typically their first stop. Now, just like everything that we saw with the dolphins, everything with our whales starts with that relationship. Getting to know each whale, what makes them tick, what gets them excited, this is how we're able to teach all those new concepts and to build those truly beautiful behaviors. Pilot whales have a zest for life. They're curious and playful, and they always love a little playtime. That just happens to be one of the best ways for us to build our relationship with them. So right now, please join me as we watch our trainers, LJ at the glass, and Tammy right here on stage, share a very special moment with our whales, Argo, and Shadow.
As our incredible dolphins make their way back to stage, we are reminded to make a difference in the oceans that surround us. Not just for us, but for generations to come. Now conservation is a big job, and we need your help. Everyday actions like recycling and reusing help keep trash out of animal habitats. You can join or even organize a beach or a park cleanup in your own community. These are simple things that can make a big difference. Just you being here today shows your love for animals. It's our hope that you and your family will join us in our commitment to care for our seas, our skies, and all of their amazing animals. Now follow those dolphins can swim at speeds of up to 22 miles per hour and jump up to 15 feet in the air. To show you all that and more, it looks like everyone's back. That means it's time for some more fun. So let's live it up, because the world is ours. Looking at the endless star-filled sky For your safety and the safety of others, we kindly ask that you refrain from climbing over the seats. 